This is easy to load firewood at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. These pallets of firewood are $70 each picked up. We load them on your pickup truck with our forklift and load it on your truck. They're $70 each plus tax. We also have cut Christmas trees here at Highland Hill Farm for you as well. And you can go out into the field and cut your own tree or we have pre-cut trees here for you to pick up. The price on this firewood is $70 a stack and it's about a, a fifth of a cord and it's good for year 2012-2013. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 if you need some firewood. We have it here ready for you to pick up. The Emerald Green Arborvita is used in urban areas for screening and buffering. It's one of the finest buffering trees for an urban use. It's not good in wet, shaded, or areas that have a high deer population. It likes a sunny location. It does not like male dogs. It grows to about 3 to 4 foot wide and 15 foot high. It can grow upwards to a foot a year. Its plant spacing is about 3 foot on center to center. I've seen these plants grow in southern Florida and all the way into a place called Malta, Montana, which is out in the middle of nowhere. So it can grow on most locations, but it does like sun and it likes a well-drained soil. It does not like wet feet. Maintain it when it's growing to a good single liter. It gives it more stir strength and stability. One harmful pest for the emerald green is a bagworm, which can be picked off if you see them or sprayed if necessary. Do not use more than one inch of mulch. I like to tell people about mulching of trees, especially the arborvitaes. I always preface it this way. The man upstairs did not invent the mulch truck, so don't think you have to have mulch on these trees. If you want it for decorative purposes, use no more than one inch. Don't plant this arborvita too deep. It does not like to be drowned. And if you have trouble watering on a constant and regular basis and you're in a dry area, you may want to purchase our drip water kit. It's inexpensive but very effective. The emerald green has a soft scale-like foliage. It has both male and female flowers on the same plant. However, you'll probably never see them because they're mostly innocuous and you don't see them and they're, not, they're seldom a problem. So if you need emerald green arborvitaes, we grow them from seedlings up to 12 foot trees. And we do deliver and plant and we can send them by truckload or you can come and pick them up at many of our locations. We have locations in Lenore, North Carolina, Fountainville, PA, and Milan, PA. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your emerald green arborvitaes. their guns and then they're going to go rabbit hunting with their dogs. The dogs are getting all bent out of shape because they're hungry. They want a rabbit. So okay. Yeah, they want to eat rabbit. Pastor, tell us about your gun. It's a brownie. And Automatic. It and it shoots sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and your gun? Uh, it's an over and under 12 gauge Stoger Arms. Uh, okay. My preferred choice. It is? That's my preferred, that's my baby. I've been using that gun for the last seven years. A good rabbit gun? Yeah. Right. It does everything I asked it to do and more. <laughs> well, is it, is it a, it's a 12, right? Yeah, 12. And is it a modified and full? Modified on top, full on the bottom. Okay. And your gun? I got an Ithaca. It was in a, uh, it was in a fire. I, I restored it and uh, it's a semi-automatic with a gold trigger. Right. Well, these boys are here at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA, and they're going to be going up to uh, Bradford County to do some rabbit hunting, eh? I don't know about that. My wife's going to kill me. Ah, oh, two days hunt. <laughs> that guy's going to have me in time. divorce court, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you saw a bunch of rabbits, but you didn't get any last yeah, time? We were here. This is our second time here, and we had a blast. We didn't get any, but we saw a bunch of bunny rabbits. They shot up a box of bullets. So I know try, that. We're going to try for them again today. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to give a shout out to my dad, Dewey Senior. I wish you was here, baby. <laughs> Call you later. Okay, good. And yeah. This is for Doc Scott, too. Dr. Scott. Hey, they all mine today. <laughs> they all mine. Now, how many beagles you got here today? Oh, I got uh, five. five of them today. 
there they go. They're all happy, happy, happy. Now these guys are going to be hunting all out in these here fields down here. There's a you lot of... want to get an L there. That's Joe. We got a driver. We got... <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their thing. They're, they're peeing already. Look at that. <laughs> he, he drinks beer, so he's going to be doing it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now these guys came here today, and they brought me three posts to go hunting for the day. They were 4x4x8 four by four by pressure-treated fence posts because we're going to be building the fence. Yo, yo, yo! And here they go. They're on their way. Okay, where are you going to, guys going to start today? Uh, we're going to start on the back side and try to push that on around there because we had a lot of success going all the way around the back side of this here nursery right here. So uh, I know they're still there, so I'm going to get set up and uh, let the dogs go in there and do their thing. And um, hopefully in the, within the next 15 to 20 minutes, we can be doing a lot of Man, they, they, they've been hitting everything. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> Each one of them got uh, a mark the other one. Is the rabbit ran across my feet when I was asleep, and he woke me up. So, I'm going over there. Okay, guys, we'll have a good time.